Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Hellstone here again, and today I'm going to be recording... Okay, I need to stop doing such a formal intro with my videos. So, like, if you've watched the last video that I put out, you know that I'm taking a new direction with my YouTube channel, where I'm not going to be doing those history reaction videos anymore. My channel is going to be transitioning to a sort of vlog channel. And so I was wondering, what's the best way for me to start out this new direction I'm taking with my channel? And then something popped into my head, hey... I got the perfect idea. I'm going to explain in this vlog what it is I actually do in the army. Now a question that I get a lot from my subscribers is, what's your job in the military? Um, what is the National Guard? Uh, because a lot of my viewers are from not the US, I'll just say that, and so they might not know exactly what the National Guard is, so I'm going to take this opportunity to share what my job actually is in the army, where I'm hoping my career goes in the future, and everything like that. Now. I do have to apologize for the state of my room. Um, we're actually getting ready to move right now, and so it's kind of a haphazard mess, so I do apologize for that. But right now, I'm actually prepping up to go on a four-day field training exercise in Idaho. And so I'm going to take this opportunity while I'm packing to share a little bit about what it is I actually do in the Army. So I am actually a member of the National Guard. So if you don't know what the National Guard is, it's essentially a part-time military service where once a month you go out and you train with the unit you're, you're at. Um, two weeks out of the year you go on this long, it's called annual training AT, um, and you go do stuff with the Army for two weeks straight. And essentially it's a really great way for someone like me who's currently going through the ROTC program, officer training, to get some extra experience in before I hop on over to the active side of the Army. And so right now the Army is my part-time job while I'm going to college. But the plan is after I graduate and I become a lieutenant, I'm heading off to the active Army. So the whole reason for me joining the National Guard, um, doing everything like that, is so I could just get some extra experience points so when that dot becomes a butter bar, I can be not so much lost in the sauce. So on to what my actual job is in the National Guard at this very moment. I'm what's called an 09 Romeo. So essentially, when you join the Army, your job has a certain what's called MOS assigned to it. This MOS is something that lets everybody else know what it is you do in the Army. So for example, um, you have an 11 Bravo, that's somebody who's in the infantry, a 13 Bravo, that's somebody who's in the artillery, and I'm sure there's a bunch of them I could go over. You could research it if you're actually interested, but my designation is an 09 Romeo. Now that pretty much means that I have a placeholder MOS. So because I'm going through the ROTC program and I'm a cadet, this little dot right here, that's my current rank, um, I don't have a s normal designation in the Army. I'm not an infantryman, I'm not in the artillery, I am attached to an artillery unit, but I'm not an actual artilleryman myself. Um, I am a cadet. That is literally what my actual job description is. Now what do I realistically do um, in the National Guard? Well, realistically, I do a lot of things that a 13 Bravo would do. Um, I run rounds. Um, I help around with our weapon systems. We use what's called a Paladin, which is a lot of fun. Um, I do stuff at our FDC, our Fire Direction Center. I'll track rounds. Um, essentially, I'm a glorified aide-de-camp. Um, pretty much whatever anybody tells me to do, I do. Because the whole point of me being in the Army right now is for me to gain experience. And I do that by helping out wherever I can. And so at the moment, I'll do everything from cleaning our toilets um, to, like I said, tracking rounds to, like I said, moving those rounds from our cat systems to our paladins. And it's a lot of fun. I know it's not too awful exciting at the moment, but what I want to do with my military career is I am actually planning at the moment to head into the artillery uh, once I commission as an officer. It's either that or the infantry. Um, I'm still somewhat split, but I am definitely leaning more towards the artillery. And so the opportunity that I have to currently serve an artillery unit, even though I'm technically not an artilleryman, um, is just super great because having the opportunity to learn is something that's invaluable to me. So like I said, um, I'm getting ready for a four-day field training exercise and uh, it's it was a lot of fun hopping into the army because I had no idea how to pack for anything. And so 
This is actually going to be my first extended uh, training exercise. Oh my gosh, the sun is coming out. It's great. Springtime's here. This is going to be my first um, extended period in the cold. Um, prior AT that I went to, it was middle of summer uh, in the desert. And now that we're going up to Idaho, actually, it probably won't be as cold. But it's still going to be kind of cold. Right now, the weather up in Idaho is coldish I think I don't know I'll figure out when I get there so it'll be a first opportunity for me packing my cold weather gear uh, my wet weather gear and it should be a lot of fun so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that and I'll be back in just a minute and just on a side note this thing right here is called a whoopee now I've only been in the army for a little more than a year but this is by far the best piece of equipment that I have ever been issued it's essentially just a little thin blanket, but in the wind and the cold, I don't know why, this thing is amazing for keeping you warm. Um, I mentioned during the last AT I went to the desert. Um, it gets cold in the desert at night, and like I said, I didn't have, I don't know, I brought a little bit of my cold weather gear, but it, I don't know, I didn't want to take off all my stuff to put on my cold weather gear to take it off when it started heating up later on in the day. So this Wubby kept me warm at night. Wubbies are awesome. Alrighty, so it's been a little while. I forgot that I had online classes in between that last take, but I think I've got everything set for this field training exercise. Uh, I'm pretty excited actually. We just got a few these awesome new rifleman's kits. Not the ruck itself, but this little thing right here I like to put on my ruck comes from the rifleman's kit. And they're matching OCP color. Uh, up until this point, we were using old ACU stuff. So um, IBA set up, we got our boots set up. And so we should be good to go. Now, what might actually end up happening is, since I'm also in the ROTC program, um, we have trainings that we do for that. And in my situation, the ROTC takes precedence over the National Guard in terms of my training events. And so we do have an event coming up on Thursday, a lab that we're doing for the ROTC. And there's a chance that instead of me going on this field training ex exercise, exercise, um, I might actually end up going to that ROTC exercise instead. And so that is something that's pretty unique about me and those like me who are in the ROTC as well as the National Guard is we're kind of balancing uh, the two obligations that we have. So I guess we'll see what happens. If not, I might cut to maybe on the way over to the field training exercise, but I guess we'll have to see. Alrighty guys, so it is the next morning after I got done packing. It's about 6 a.m. right now, and we're heading out to our home station before we hop on the convoy to go to our training place. And so it should be a lot of fun. Um, I'm all packed up and hopefully I can get some good video for you guys I don't know how much I can actually record I'll figure out when I get there um, obviously I can't show certain things but you know the boring stuff I can show you um, it should be a lot of fun it should be cold like I said it's gonna be my very first time um, going into the field in cold weather um, I don't know if that's the right way to say it because when I was in the desert, it, it got cold at night too, but during the day, cold weather, I guess is the right way to say it. So I guess we'll figure that out when we get there. Anyway, I guess we'll see you guys in a few.
All right, you guys. So you saw from that cut, it's been four days since that last scene there with me driving out to my field training exercise. Uh, what ended up happening is I got there and it was a very fast paced, um, busy uh, drill. And I didn't really have any time to record anything that I wanted to record. So I figured I'll, I'll just cut ahead to when I actually have time to sit down and talk about what I wanted to talk about. So I'm out here right now on this beautiful hike. Hiking is probably one of my favorite things to do in the world. But I'm going to find a nice place to sit and then we'll talk. Yeah, see you in a second. So. Um, my job in the military, it is a lot of fun, um, especially because I'm getting a lot of training in preparation for me becoming an officer, which is great. But anyway, um, since I couldn't record and show you guys what I was doing, I figured I'd talk you through what ended up happening. Um, first day rolls around and it's a four hour drive to actually get where we're drilling. And so we drive out that four hours, we get there, um, some of the convoy is lagging behind so we end up waiting a while. We go through the first drill day, um, we get back to the barracks where we're spending the night. Nine o'clock at night, um, I hear one of the NCOs um, coming down the barracks just going, Hells, 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 where's Hells? Um, and I'm sitting in my bed, I've got my whoopee out, I am ready to go to sleep. And uh, he comes up to me, he says, Hells, how are you doing? I'm like, I'm doing good, Sergeant, why? And he says, all right, you're driving back to Utah. And I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> And so nine o'clock at night rolls around. I get informed that I have to, uh, me and this other soldier, we have to drive another soldier back to Utah. There's some stuff going on. Um, and so by 10 o'clock at night or so, um, we hit the road. We drive all the way back. Uh, we end up getting back at our home station around 1.20 in the morning. And finally, I get to bed around 1.30, 1.45 in the morning. Wake up at 5 a.m., um, get breakfast chow, <laughs> And then we drive four hours all the way back up to where we're drilling again. Um, by the time we get there um, to the barracks, uh, everybody else is already in the motor pool. And we get a text from another NCO that says, hey, um, meet up with your chiefs at the, at the motor pool. I didn't know what we were actually doing. And uh, up where we were drilling um, in Idaho, it's windy, it's cold. Um, but I figured if I was just in the motor pool, I'd be fine. Um, I'd hop in one of the Amtraks or something and just stay warm there. And so I didn't put any layers on. I'm just wearing my regular uh, uniform. So we get up to the motor pool. <laughs> and then I get told, hey, we're going to the field in a couple of minutes, so prep up. I didn't have my IBA. I didn't have my Kevlar. I had no extra layers. I'm like, well, all right. This is just how today's going to go. Um, luckily, I have a good couple of friends in the unit, and they are able to patch together a little bit for me. Um, I was able to get a Kevlar. Um, I was able to get um, one single coat. And so we go out to the field, and it is cold. It's windy. It's the middle of nowhere. There's no trees. There's nothing stopping the wind. So it's just constantly going through. I'm like, all right, well, you know what? We'll be here for a couple hours. Uh, we'll go back to the barracks, get dinner chow, go to bed. I can handle this for a few hours. Hour after hour goes by. No news of going back. Finally, it gets well into the night and even then into the early morning. And then again, about 1.30 in the morning, we finally finish up um, our training for that day. And at this point, I'm, I'm like chilled to the bone because I have a single coat that somebody lent me, but that was it. And so the wind was just passing right through it. I, I haven't shivered that bad in years. And so we get done with that. We drive all the way back to the barracks and I'm like absolutely deadbeat. Um, go to bed, wake up the next morning. Uh, it's another full day of drilling that we got going on. You go to bed again, wake up the morning after that. And this is the day that we're supposed to be convoying back to home station. And that is a whole nother story in and of itself. Um, I ended up catching a ride with a bunch of other cadets um, rather than taking the convoy back, which was okayed by our top. And, uh, I figured that we would get there a lot faster than the convoy because when you're driving the POV like that, you ju it just goes faster than the convoy. And so I figured I'd be able to get back to home station, grab my car, and, you know, get home at a relatively decent hour. What ended up happening is we get back to home station, I go to the motor pool where my car is parked, and I find that I've been boxed in by a silver Ford F-150. 
And so now I just have to wait at the motor pool for a couple hours for the rest of the convoy to get back. They do finally show up. We're able to get everything taken care of. I head back home and I'm absolutely beat. So it's the morning after now. Um, I got some pretty good sleep and I was like, it's a beautiful day. I ought to come out and go for a hike. And again, just, just look at that. You can tell spring is coming. I'm so excited about that. Now that I'm going to more of a vlog type style for my YouTube channel, um, it's going to be a lot of fun because I can take you on a lot of these hikes and just talk about what's going on. Um, my backpacking trips, I'll be able to take you along on those. And I'm, I'm really excited for it, but I just wanted to come out and get a short hike in before I head back home. I got a lot of homework to do. Um, the upside is it's spring break right now, and so I'm going to have a lot more time to record videos, which should be a lot of fun. Um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to making videos again, at least the type of videos I want to make. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be good. But this is probably gonna do it for this vlog. I just wanted to run you guys over what happened uh, with my drill. It was a lot of fun. And don't worry, like I said, I have more drills coming up and I'm gonna be able to show you what it is that I'm actually doing. Uh, hopefully I can find some time um, in between to actually record some stuff. And obviously, like I said, I can't show you all the stuff I do uh, because of privacy and all that jazz that goes on in the military. But I can at least show you some stuff and it should be a pretty good time. But that'll do it for this video. If you like this video, you want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. Hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you next time.